Welcome back to Free From Lifestyle. We are making such a treat tonight. So this is my chocolate cookie dough pie. It is indulgent, it is sweet, and kids will absolutely love this. I think it's a good recipe to have for over the Christmas period as well because it can be sliced. So if you've got a party coming up, it is perfect to serve to everybody. Let's get cooking. To start with, in my mixer, I have got some dairy-free butter and some soft brown sugar. We're gonna now whisk this up and we want this to be light and creamy. Now this is combined nicely, we're gonna add in our eggs and I've also got some vanilla in there and we'll give it another mix. Into here, I now want to fold in my dry ingredients, which I've measured out. I've got plain flour, which is gluten-free, a little bit of Zanfam gum, and we've got some dark chocolate chips as well. So let's pop that in and get folding. There's also some bicarbonate of soda in there. Nearly forgot that, but that is in there also. So I'm just giving this a mix until it forms a lovely cookie dough. You could make a bigger batch of this and then you could freeze it and make fresh cookies whenever you fancy but this is plenty for the recipe that we're making today. Now we want a third of this for the base, a third for the sides, and a third for the top. As you can see, I used some extra flour just so that I could roll this out and get this into the tin. So we've got the sides and the base ready to go, and we just now need to chill this. In my bowl here, I have got some chopped hazelnuts, which have been crushed up finely. And then you want some chocolate covered wafer biscuits, ideally. But that's not always easy to find when you're trying to be gluten and dairy free. So let me show you what I've used. Now this probably seems very random, but I have used these gluten free, milk free chocolate Christmas trees because that's what was in the supermarket. But any sort of biscuits would be, be great. You just want the texture of a biscuit in here. And then to add the chocolate element, I've gone with these chocolate coated honeycomb pieces. But whatever you can get, just as long as you've got the right quantity, use whatever you fancy and works for you. If you're not dairy free, then I'm sure it's gonna be much easier for you to find some gluten free wafers. And for the chocolate spread, I found this Meridian uh, Chocker, crunchy chocolate, plant-based, so it's sort of a, a nutty, hazelnutty, chocolatey spread anyway. That's what I could find in my supermarket. So that's what I'm using. If you're not dairy free, then you could just use Nutella. So let's pop this in. I'm not sure how easy it will be to get out and mix. It's very thick. This is gonna be a delicious chocolate pie when we have finished. So bear with me while I get all of this out. Let's try and combine this the best that we can. I'm making a mess already. You should know with me, it's just general home baking. I love to make a mess. But this is gonna be the center of our cookie dough pie. How good does this look already? My cookie dough has been in the freezer now for around sort of half hour or so, so that has firmed up lovely. Let's pop in the center. And we're gonna just need to push that down and make sure that is in the right position for baking. I'm gonna to top with a few more of these chocolate honeycomb pieces. Just gonna add an extra layer of sweetness. So just spread those out. And then we just need to top that with the cookie dough topping. It doesn't matter if we just patch this up slightly, it's homemade. If you've made more cookie dough, then obviously this would be a little bit easier, but I've tried to make just the amount that I would actually need for this pudding. This now goes in the oven on 190 for about half hour, 40 minutes. I've just taken this out of the oven and now I have the bad news for you. We have to leave that to completely cool in the tin and then we have to put it in the fridge overnight. So we can't eat this for tomorrow. That is the bad news. The good news is that it smells amazing and it looks so delicious. 
I can't wait for tomorrow and we will serve up a slice and I'll show you what it's like inside. I've loosened the tin, moment of truth. Let's have a look. Whoa. Look at this gorgeous cookie outside. Can't wait to make this into So I've cut a few slices and this is what it looks like inside my cookie dough pie. You can see you've got all the lovely layers and the nuts in there. And even you can see the dark chocolate chips in that cookie dough. Wow.